super cheap easy storage and anyone can do this especially if you have an island and you have drawers nearby this is going to be a wonderful cheap hack for you if you've seen my past videos of my craft room organization you know that this is already different i've moved my spectrum noir harmony ink pads up here i have tim holtz oxide ink pads down here and then i have a few stays on I find that I love, love, love the Distress inks and I don't use as much as the oxides as I would like. So I left the oxides here and I took out the Distress inks. I have a lot of Distress inks. I ordered more so I needed to reorganize them. This right here is my craft space. So this is an island that I have and I love to keep everything close by. It just works so well for me, but I absolutely love my island. I have all my inks really portable in here and these are all the Gina K Designs inks and I can easily lift this off of my desk and put it away. So many ink pads. These are all Distress inks, 48 I believe in total and I've got a super easy cheap way to fix and store this. I had at one point my inks stored in drawers beside of my desk and so I'm going right back at it again these are great because the drawer can pull out all the way. These are not like Ikea's or anything where the drawer pulls out so much and then that's all the space you have. These actually could like sit on the desk potentially if I wanted it to. I like to have everything close by my workspace to where I can literally just pull out a drawer and my inks are there. So I thought since I bought a whole bunch of new Distress inks that now was the time to get them organized in these drawers. You're going to want to measure from here to here the inside of your drawer and this measurement is going to be tight. Hello Mr. Butters. Hello Mr. Butters. You want the measurement tight or else this isn't going to work very well. The kitties love to get on top of my stuff, especially where I'm working. This right here is just a very inexpensive piece of foam board that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Super cheap. I'm just using the magnetic ruler that came with my Make Art Station. And as you can see, this is the very center point of the ruler. That's what makes it different. Um, but my two inch mark is right here. So I'm going to lay this down and then I'm just going to mark up on here two inches. And then on the other side, I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to measure that off two inches. Then just draw my line straight across easiest way to cut foam board is all of the tools that I use I always leave in the description below if you have trouble finding them but on this it's got the mark right here and that's what I want to line up with my line right here and that way it will cut it perfectly and this thing cuts just like butter it's amazing i've pulled out my drawer and now i'm going to try to position this where you can see it a little easier and now i'm just going to place this and you can see this is fitting tight this is not going anywhere you do not want this to slip on you so cut it to where it fits tight and then just push it down in there and then we're going to leave it on it we're going to just position it at an angle and that's okay if it bows just a slight bit it's totally fine but you just want to place this in there on an angle it should be so tight that it's not going to slip and move if it's too loose it's going to fall and you don't want that and at the end if once you have all of them positioned in here you can actually take little bits of glue and just for added security place little glue drops right here let it dry and that will keep your stuff from slipping as well once you get all your pieces cut and laid in and i wouldn't go any higher than two inches with your pieces but once you have them all placed in here 
you can look at the side how I have them all on an angle they're not straight up and down they're placed on a slight angle and each of these is about an inch and a half apart and then this is perfect placement for your Tim Holtz distress or oxide inks because I have so many inks I'm going to have two drawers of these it's going to be amazing fabulous easy for me to get to and great storage I'm starting out by organizing all the blue inks in here because I feel like I use a lot of the blue in my cards so we're going to place these in here and of course I will have to go back through with the sticker paper ink all these up and label them with the names so that I can find the colors much easier but I do like the way that these are positioned in here sideways because then you can actually see the color and you can even sort of see but they're upside down because I've placed them upside down, I kind of can get an idea of what color it is by reading the words on here. I just want to step back and appreciate how good this looks. <laughs> This is so good and it's not expensive. Now Amazon does have some clear um, tray dividers and I will link those in the description because I probably will get some of those for my other drawers in my craft room. But this, if you want a simple, cheap way to be able to store your ink pads in a drawer, I'm not sure how well this will work with your really long drawers, but if it's fitting in tight, I don't think it would be a problem, but it's really not that expensive to just even try it out if you would like to do that. But this looks amazing, and now I can have all of my inks next to my desk. If you enjoyed this storage video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and leave me a comment below. Help me celebrate my happy birthday. I turned 42 today. I thought I was going to be spending my birthday alone because <laughs> everybody's so busy, but that's not the case. We're going to be going out to dinner this evening, and it's going to be a really happy birthday. So... I just loved the storage idea. I can pull out the drawers and everything stays. I still have to do my other drawer, but I wanted to come on here really quick, give you an overview and a tutorial of how to do this so that you can possibly work this into your own space. I love you all so much, and until next time, I'll catch you in that next video. Miss Shorty's in the window hammock, and I have no idea where Butters is. Sleepy kitty.